few weeks ago I made a video reviewing some of the previews of the new Quad Cortex. I wanted to get myself a modeler, so I was trying to decide whether to go for the new unit and pre-order one, or whether to go for something more established like a Kemba. In the end I decided to pre-order the Quad Cortex. Since then I've borrowed this Kemba and it sounds rather good. Have I made a mistake? All the guitar sounds in that track were through the Kemper. And I used a couple of different amps. I'm only scratching the surface with it, but the uh, the main part on the Telecaster, I did that in a an open E tuning. 
was watching Tom Bukovac and he uh, inspired yeah. me with some of his chord shapes. So I've um, I used a little water amp, which I assume is a little water amp, to get that kind of clean on the edge of breakup sound um, with a spring reverb. And then for the delay section, I did a kind of ping pong delay. I used one of the built-in presets that was already loaded on the unit to get that. Um, for the slide sound, what did I use for the slide sound? I still can't work out how to use this unit. For the slide sound, oh yeah, Marshall. It's a super lead. For the strap sound, I used a deluxe reverb with a tube screamer on to try and get a Steve Ray Vaughan type sound. That was the one I was least pleased with actually, I have to say. I need to work on that. All in all, I've been, I've been pretty impressed with the sound of the Kemba. Now, the only thing I would say is, in the age of everything being touchscreen, like my phone, for example, which I'm used to using, this little LCD display, with all the buttons on, seems a bit clunky. Um, I quite like the desktop app, but fiddling between the two is a bit of a pain. Um, also, it takes up quite a lot of room. Thirdly, if I want to make changes to the effects while I'm playing, I'm going to have to then spend another however much it is on the foot switch or go for the complete integrated floor mounted unit, which isn't going to fit on my desk next to my computer. All of these things will be addressed by the Quad Cortex. Now, having watched the previews, they both sounded pretty good. Some of them I watched, I thought the Quad Cortex had the edge, but that was maybe a paid promotion, so I'm not quite sure, but I'm hoping I've made the right decision pre-ordering the Quad Cortex. This does sound really good. I can't really buy both, but anyway, I'll see how long I can hang on to this one for. And then when the new one arrives, maybe I'll do a direct comparison. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.